We've all had to break through traditional barriers. These women are on a mission to bring more balance to the boardroom. It's still something that we need to work hard on and that I'm encouraging at the board level. They're coming together to network and mentor and give a boost to women in fields that are traditionally dominated by men. There's data to prove the, the more diverse your board is, the better the decision making. New numbers from the Canadian Chamber of Commerce suggest progress has been slow and Canada is falling behind countries such as the U.S., Mexico and Hungary. Women make up almost half of the workforce but hold just 21 percent of board seats. And if the current trend continues, women won't reach parity in senior management this century. There are trickle-down effects of these low representation numbers on how management looks like in the rest of the company. Researchers say businesses with outdated corporate culture often prevent women from advancing beyond middle management. And that needs to change. Making sure that we're holding corporations and other stakeholders accountable in terms of their ability to promote um, and recognize women. Advocates urge companies to track hiring and promotions and offer opportunities for upskilling and flexible work. We have managed to at least put a proper crack in the glass ceiling. Some aren't waiting for companies to act, instead making equality the law. The EU has mandated that by 2026, big companies must ensure that women hold 40% of the seats on their board. For now, these women in business are pushing hard. Seeing those women in those positions kind of drives me and shows me that I can make it there too. I left my own country, my comfort zone, to do something, to make an actual impact. So that is what I want to do. Hoping one day soon, they'll get their own seat at the table. Nisha Patel, CBC News, Toronto.